I just want to say a few more words about Pat Condell's support for the UK Independence Party. And I now see that his video that he made, uh, which is part of his YouTube channel, is now being featured on the UKIP website as a, uh, well, I guess as a sort of celebrity endorsement, which is a bit odd, really, because Pat Condell's claim for fame is as an atheist, which is slightly odd, I think I'll admit, since UKIP is anti disestablishmentarian which means that they are for the continuation and presumably the reinforcement of a Church of England and the Church's link with the monarchy and all of the things that in the past Pat Condell has been pretty vocal about not uh, getting on board with. It's, uh, yeah, of course he's entitled to any politics he likes, but the fact he's putting it on an atheist website is a bit odd. And it's also a bit hypocritical. I mean, in the past, I can just give you a bit of background here if you're not familiar with this stuff. Pat Condell, as I say, is an atheist and has cited many atheist writers. He's cited Dawkins, he's cited Christopher Hitchens, he's cited Sam Harris. And uh, he's been very eloquent in that. He's also been a stand-up comedian, I understand. And, um, in, in, and he's very familiar with atheist arguments and he knows why... Um, you know, why certain atheists say certain things. So he's very familiar, for example, with the idea which Sam Harris puts up in, um, I think, Letter to a Christian Nation, where, where he says that uh, not only are extremist, fundamentalist religious practices difficult and problematic, but he says we should also be wary of more mild religious practices. Because it's often said that, you know, you should be careful of, um, of the extremists, but the, the, the main, main line... Um, religious types are okay. You know, people do say that. People say, yes, uh, you know, Church of England's okay, these are kind of mild versions of Christianity are okay. But those hardline cults, you know, the David Koresh Waco Christian cult, that was that was wrong, or the, the Jonestown massacre of Christians, that was obviously completely wrong. Um, the Westboro Baptist Church Christians who uh, wave banners at soldiers' funeral because they think that in their case, uh, America has been cursed by God for something. Yeah, these th people will say that these are extremists, but the milder forms of religion are fine. And the people say so the same thing occasionally. People say the same thing about uh, Islam, that of course extremist Islam is terrible, and people flying planes into buildings is terrible. And um, but milder forms of milder forms of Islam are okay. People do occasionally say that. The argument against that, which Sam Harris has made, and which Pat Condell has kind of reinforced, is that that's not the case. Is, is, is that they say that what's happening there is that um, these milder forms of religious practice give cover to the more extreme forms. That those extreme forms can only survive because they have this big cushion of soft, fluffy religion around them, uh, which protects them from, uh, from attack and from insult. So it's very hard, for example, to say bad things, this is the argument, it's very hard to say bad things about Islam, about Muslims, because it sounds like, because you really, you know, because most Muslims are fine, you know what I mean? And they kind of stand in the way of the extremists, you can't insult Muslims because they're, because most of them are fine, they're the guy who runs the shop next door, they're the guy who delivers your milk, you know, it's just these guys. Uh, and the same things for Christians, it's quite hard to criticise uh, extremist Christians. Because most Christians aren't like that. Most Christians are the, you know, the, 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 the old lady who rides a bike to the church on Sunday and so on. Um, but the fact is that all these people are praying to the same God, depending on which religion you're in, singing from the same hymn book, uh, swearing on the same holy book if they are in a court of law. You know, they're, they're, they're basically in the same game, really. And the fact that there's a huge amount of uh, people adopting a softer form of it just acts as protection for the extreme forms that's going on. So what Sam Harris says and what uh, Pat Condell kind of tacitly supports is that if you're talking about religion, you have, to, you have to talk about the whole thing. You can't make a distinction between its extreme forms and its milder forms. Yeah? You can't just talk about, we should ban extremist Muslims because it doesn't really work to, to, to make the distinctions. You have to, to deal with the whole thing, root and branch. It probably wouldn't involve banning anybody, but it would mean doing certain things. Okay, so having said that, if we've established, if you don't, you don't have to buy this, but if you established, and Pat Condell does seem to buy it, if we've established that um, extreme dogmas, 
like the dogma that attaches to extreme Islam or extreme Christianity. If extreme dogmas are able to survive because of milder forms of those dogmas existing and providing a buffer, then surely the same applies to the political views that Pat Condell's espousing now. He's basically saying, as an atheist of course, but um, he's, he's basically supporting a political party, UKIP, a very tiny and relatively insignificant political party. He's supporting a political party which is basically espousing milder forms of the kind of nationalism, the kind of patriotism, the kind of Little England uh, approach that I've mentioned before, which in much more extreme forms result in, in organisations like the BNP. Now of course UKIP is not the BNP and all its official literature will say so, Pat Condell will say so and has come out and condemned the BNP himself. Of course we know that. But the fact is that if you look at the supporters of UKIP, it needs to, to, to do that you don't need to go any further than the comments I've on my channel, on, on my page, on, when I've talked about Pat Condell in the past, and you'll see that many of those comments are from BNP supporters who are um, see themselves in some kind of an alliance with UKIP. No, you don't even need to go there. You can go to Pat Condell's channel. Up until about a year ago, Pat, most of Pat Condell's subscribers were from the atheist community or for, from or sympathisers or people who are interested in that debate. Over the last six months to a year, the numbers of subscribers on Pat Condell's channel has increased particularly in the in terms of extreme right wing bnp national front various nationalist kind of part edl those kinds of supporters um, so basically what if he's he, you're hitching a wagon to a star there um ukip by attracting uh pat condell or if i can talk to pat condell directly you are in a very strange position taking this um this uh this logic of atheism and the logic that you've espoused in the past to a party that isn't atheist, to a to a a, a soft dogma that promote, that provides protection for much harder dogma, and carrying presumably this subscriber base of yours, which is becoming increasingly right wing and, and increasingly extremist, right over to you, keep with you, where I'm sure they'll be right at home as long as they don't say out loud what they clearly say in private. It's really rubbish.